Good morning, guys. Well, I think it's almost noon, so it's almost afternoon. <laughs> so um, back with another video. Uh, I haven't done a project video in quite a while, so I figured uh, I have a project that I thought might be a good video. So um, this video, which I'm sure you saw by the title, I'm going to be making some black iron pipe plant holder shelves things. Something my wife saw on Pinterest and she wants me to make some. So that is what this video is going to be. Uh, making some swinging plant shelves. <clears throat> so I'll explain more as I uh, go along. But uh, that's going to be today's project video. Um, back in the shop. It's kind of a rainy day today. So um, it's nice having a space to work in. <laughs> So, uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, and uh, let's get to work. All right, so for this project, I went to Home Depot this morning, and I got all of my pieces that I'm going to need. Um, and basically what this is, if you're not familiar, um, this is what they call black iron pipe. Um, it can be used for a number of things, uh, gas, you know, stuff like that, gas lines and whatnot. Um, so most people just use these for projects. So basically what it is, is uh, we have some flanges here. I have some 8-inch pieces here, 4-inch pieces, 3-inch pieces. These are a couple unions, and these are 90s or elbows. Uh, everything is 3 quarter inch. Hi, Hati, can I help you? Oh, yeah, okay, hi. So see this big scar? Yeah, Hati and Jerry got into a pretty bad scuffle on the day before they went into the back coop or the back uh, paddock. <laughs> anyway, um, I have all my pieces here. These are going to basically get assembled. Um, I have some anchors for the wall in the house because um, where I'm going to be mounting it is going to be between the two big windows in our living room. And essentially what this is, um, is the black pipe is going to create a support structure and then you'll have, there's going to be two shelves on either side and then the shelves will swing out and go in front of the window essentially. So they can be folded against the wall, you know, and then the plants can just be sitting on there and then you can swing them over in front of the window so that the plants can get sunlight. That's essentially what it is. I draw a picture, but I think you guys kind of get the idea of what it is. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start assembling this stuff, and then I have to make the actual shelves, and I'm going to be using some 2 by 6 material. So the shelves will be, you know, 5 and a half inches wide, about 2 to 2 and a half feet long, because the space between the windows is uh, about 5 feet. So, um, yeah. Let me uh, start getting some of this stuff put together and uh, I'll work on getting the my four shelves cut. And then I'm going to have to sand those, clean those up. I'm going to router the edges, make sure everything's nice. And then uh, we'll go from there. And then the shelves are going to end up getting painted. Uh, my wife just wants them to be white, you know, because all the piping is going to be black, essentially, or this really dark gray color. So uh, I'm going to get started on putting this stuff together as much as I can assemble it before I need the shelves. And then I'll go to the shelves. So just to give an update on the uh, chickens and turkeys and the guineas, see the guineas out there? So the coop is now opened up and uh, I opened it up yesterday where I set up the automatic door. So everyone is now running in and out of the coop. Um, the guineas actually are just hanging out and they're going in and out of the coop just like the chickens do. See if I can get this open one-handed. There we go. Hi, Jerry. So, uh, as you can see, I got the gate in here. Um, turkeys are still a little confused. They want to go, you know, to the front of the house. So, they've been hanging out here a lot, I guess, thinking that they're going to go back. But they'll get used to it. Some of the chickens are exploring a little further. You see one of them over there. You see Hey Hey way over there. So the chickens have been exploring more than the turkeys, which is surprising. I figured the turkeys would be going all over here, but Jerry's such, you know, 
a domesticated little bee. Anyway, <laughs> but they're doing good. The guineas are doing good. They didn't just fly away like I thought they were gonna do when I opened the door. Um, so yeah, everyone's good. So let's get back to the uh, project build. Bye, Jerry. Angry bird. All right, so let me explain what was going on in the time lapse. I was assembling all these pieces. So basically uh, what you're looking at here is gonna be a top and a bottom to the assembly. You have the center piece here, which this is what the eight inch pipe went to because we wanted to have about 16 inches in between the shelves. And then this is basically just doubled. So it's the same thing on both sides. And then the way that this works is you have these flanges and this is what your shelf is going to be screwed into, right? So if you have one here and you have one here, screws will come in from the bottom and from the top. Your shelf will be in there and then basically this doesn't get screwed in tightly, right? So this can rotate 180 degrees essentially is what it's going to be rotating. So it'll be against the wall and then it'll go over to the window and then back. I don't know if that's showing up real good, but all of the pieces that are assembled so far, all of these are assembled tightly because none of these need to move. Just the pieces that go on the shelf need to move. So when I assemble this, I'm gonna to have to do it on the wall. And basically this piece will go in, this piece will go in, I'll screw into the board and then this is only going to go on about a turn, one full turn, because then that'll give you the space to turn. You can maybe even go a little bit further, like to where it starts to get tight, and then back it up so that your shelves are a little bit tighter as they slide. But you want to have 180 degrees of turn without it getting tight. So you got to pay attention to what side of the window you're on, whether it's going to rotate this way or rotate this way. So when this goes together, you gotta to pay attention to that, to how tight you put the threads because you need to be able to spin it both ways. All right, so this will probably get explained a little bit better once I actually start putting it on the wall. But for right now, these pieces are done. Um, I was wearing gloves because black iron comes with a layer of oil on it. And even though now just touching it, you can see how dirty my hands are. So you wanna wipe that down with some alcohol or acetone to clean, clean the oil off. Um, the oil's there so that the pipes don't rust while it's in the packaging. Um, but once it's on the wall, you know, you can clean it off. You don't have to worry about it rusting or not rusting. Um, if you, you know, here, of course, the humidity is high, but we run a dehumidifier in the house, so we shouldn't have to worry about it rusting. But even if it does, it's just like more character to the shelf. And if that's something that you're really concerned about after the assembly is done, you can actually hit this with some clear coat and then it'll be sealed in and it won't rust. So now it's going to be um, getting started on cutting the wood. All right, so I got those pieces cut. Now on the end where the pipe flange is going to be mounted, I want to cut a radius so that just so it looks better and also so these corners don't catch anything when you're rotating the shelf. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a hose clamp and basically open it up until it's the width of the 2x6, which is about 5.5 inches. So until it's pretty close, um, maybe a little bit further. So 
And then basically just hold the pipe or the um, hose clamp tight all the way to the edge here and then the edges here. And you can do this with a compass as well. I just don't have a compass, so I'm using this. <laughs> so that gives me my rounded corners and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this with the jigsaw and then I will use this to trace it onto the other three shelves so that they're all the same essentially. All right, so I have these shelves cut. I have one end rounded and I radius the edge with the router. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to actually drill a hole in here, a one inch hole uh, with my uh, paddle bit. And basically what I'm doing that for is the alignment of these flanges is pretty critical. So I need to make sure that the top and bottom is lined up exactly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a one inch hole in here I have a 17 millimeter socket and the 17 millimeter socket fits inside here nice and snug. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill the hole. I'm going to mount this one temporarily with two screws. I'm going to put the socket through, flip it over, put the one, the flange on the other side, rotate it 90 degrees so that the screws are not in the same spot. And then I'm going to uh, pre-drill pilots for the screws on that side. And I'm gonna go through and do that on each one of these because these need to be lined up perfectly. Otherwise the shelf is not gonna rotate properly when you go to turn it. It still would probably work if they're not perfect, but it's gonna be harder to turn the shelves. So try and get everything lined up as good as you can. So I'm gonna do two at a time. So basically one will be the left side, one will be the right side to make sure that they're the same because these are also gonna be in line with the shelf, you know, one shelf above, one shelf below. So I'm gonna go through now and get all these drilled and then get the pilots drilled for the screws. All right, so I have the holes drilled. And then what I'm gonna do now is get the flange on here. So you wanna pay attention to your orientation, right, of where they are, so that when you flip it over to drill the holes for the flange on the other side, you can rotate it, like I said, so that it's opposite. So I'm gonna slip this in here. So this one isn't super critical, like this hole's a little loose, right? But what the alignment is gonna be is that piece to the flange on the other side once this one goes on. So that's what's important. The hole that's in the middle, you're not even gonna see once this is all in place. So I'm gonna hold that there and I'm gonna drill the pilot holes. So to drill the pilot holes, I have what's called a VIX bit. So it's V-I-X, and basically what it is is there's a little spring-loaded piece here with the drill bit on the inside, and it has a little taper on there. So if you're drilling into a, a screw hole, you drill a perfectly centered pilot hole for your screw to go into. So I'm going to go ahead and put the first one in just because I want everything to line up, you know, nice and tight and also by drilling the pilot holes it helps a lot of times with keeping your wood from splitting so that's still slipping through there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one just on the other side I'm going to drill off all, all of these but I'm only going to put two screws in for now so I'll drill these two so they're all drilled. Put this other screw in. Okay, and I'll flip it over. You see that I still got a split. <laughs> That's what I get for using dimensional lumber. But 
Uh, should work okay. Uh, this one's kind of tight. So I'm going to use a different one for that. Alright, so now on the other side my orientation was in line with the board and perpendicular. So now I'm going to rotate it so that it's across. And I'm holding this piece in the center, it's lined up with the one on the other side. And then basically I'm just going to punch in my four pilot holes. So to prevent the cracking you can drill even deeper. Just get a, a drill bit that's the same size. But since these are offset, it should still hold everything together fine. Okay, so now I have my pilot holes there. So once I get ready to assemble this on the wall, it'll be easier just to put this on, screw in the screws, and then we'll be done. So now I have to do this to the other three, and then I gotta sand these all down, and then they'll get their first coat of paint. And then they'll probably sit overnight, and then I'll do another coat of paint tomorrow. But in the meantime, I can go inside and I can start putting the pieces onto the wall. All right, so that's the basic idea. I just wanted to assemble this piece, or this half. Um, for one reason, so I can get my spacing here, so I know where to put it on the wall in the house. Uh, I needed to see like how tall it was going to be all together. Um, but you see how this works. So this would, of course, this is going to be mounted vertically. Um, the pipe will be vertical, the shelves will be horizontal. But they'll be against the wall here, and then there's a window here. And then it basically rotates over so that the plants are in front of the window. So this will have to be mounted close to the bottom of the window or so that this shelf is close to the bottom, I guess. Uh, because if this shelf is close to the top, you roll it, you know, spin it around, then the plants aren't going to get any sunlight. So they need to be a little further down. But um, that's the basic idea. So I sanded these to 60 grit. I'm going to do uh, probably 120 and then I'll paint them. But this is what the assembly is going to look like on the wall in the house. So now I gotta get everything else sanded up and painted. All right, so I'm in the house now. Um, I decided to forego a, a third coat of paint. I figured it'd be better to get it up on the wall and then we could do touch-ups once it's on the wall. Um, so this is the area, I'll back up a little bit. So this is in our living room and then in between the two windows here and you know that's where the washer dryer is. If you hear noise in the background, that's what it is. So. This is where the two sets of shelves are gonna go. One will get mounted here, one will get mounted there. Shelves will be going into the middle, then they'll rotate out to be in front of the windows. So I'm gonna get one of these put back together and then uh, get it up on the wall so I can get my marks where I'm gonna drill, uh, where I'm gonna put the screws in and the anchors. So what I'm hoping I'll be able to accomplish is to get two screws into a beam here and then I'll use two of the um, toggler an uh, anchors over here because there will be nothing behind the wall there. So between all those it should be plenty strong to hold uh, the plants that are going to be on the shelves. So let me uh, get started on this. Okay, so it's just as I was hoping for. Um, when I did my pilot hole, I hit uh, wood here, so that's probably the king stud that's going up around this window. And then here it was hollow, so um, it was, like I said, just what I was hoping for. So now I need to drill out these holes, get the anchors put in, and um, when I'm saying togglers, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, it's basically a, so it's basically a piece like this. It has a cap here 
it has the uh, retaining bracket here. So basically what happens is you fold this, you have to drill a half inch hole, you fold it like that, you push that into the wall, and then you pull it back, and this pops out like that. And then this collar slides all the way up, holds it tight, and then you break off the extra piece. And then you can put a screw in and out of this without losing your um, bracket behind the wall. So this is um, what's called togglers, um, hollow wall anchors. You know, there's a couple different names for them, but that's what I'm gonna be using on the other side. So these things will hold, I think like 80 pounds each or something like that in a drywall. So it's gonna be more than enough between that and then the screws going into the anchors, it'll be good. So let me uh, start installing this one. Okay, that's one installed. And yeah, black pipe and white paint are not a good combo. <laughs> so just from touching the pipe, my hands are dirty and then touching. So that's why I was kind of waiting because I knew that this was gonna need to be touched up with paint again after it was installed. So, but that is the general idea right there. So in the open position, that's how it is. Of course, we'll, you know, can put the blinds up. Um, yeah, pretty cool though. So let me uh, get this other side installed and wrap this video up. All right, look at that. And I know my wife's gonna move all these plants around, but I just put some on there so that, <laughs> so there were some plants on there. But, so that's gonna wrap up this video. Hopefully this is something that will give uh, you inspiration or ideas to do something similar. I don't know, this is something that my wife wanted to have done for a while now, so um, I'm slowly working my way through all of the projects. <laughs> but, like I said, this one's done, so that's gonna be the end of this video, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I guess I'll see you on the next video. Aloha.